Uh, I work for DataArt. We are a, a consultancy software development company. We specialize in a number of uh, different verticals, travel and hospitality, uh, being very relevant for this particular conference, of course. Uh, we've been doing um, the Focus Right conference for a number of years. Uh, it's, it's really where we have an opportunity to meet with existing clients, form new friendships and relationships and pick up what's the sort of the major talking points in the industry at any given time just to keep our finger on the pulse if you like. Well, I think where, where we come in is normally uh, we well we generally come in quite at a very early stage of the conversation so it will be around maybe companies needing to move themselves from a legacy platform and actually building a very new platform that's compatible with everything that needs to be in place in order to have a have a company in the future if you like and travel of course is pretty rife with legacy platforms it's taken travel maybe a little bit longer than other industries to kind of move on and move on and 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 adapt you know the latest technologies so we're doing a fair amount of work in that area what we try to do is, is very much have a get a you know gain a deep understanding of the pain points of the of the client so that you know we are able through consultancy and actually having um, numerous conversations with various stakeholders uh, within the business and through those conversations be able to understand really what is it that 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 this potential client would like data art to build for them and once you have alignment between all the various departments of a company will you actually be able to bring that knowledge to the table with the management and say you are hoping to bring this particular product to life and you would like possibly data to help you build it your business has got a very from from one area of your business to another there might not be quite an alignment in terms of what this product is going to achieve for you as a company so we come in as a sort of a an, an, a neutral observer and digging in and asking those awkward questions of the business we actually help to scope you know what will effectively then become the 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 the, the, the foundation for for say and the new product but it's definitely our job in terms of uh, uh, in terms of our reputation in terms of data arts reputation it's our job to tell you where to go and buy that product we don't need to reinvent the wheel we don't need to build something bespoke for you if we know that you can go and buy that particular product off the shelf and very often we will find that with smaller companies uh, a particular product is already in existence so we see it very much as our job to then guide the contact and the client the you know in that direction rather than start to redo or rebuild something that's already in the marketplace um, it, yeah I mean there again it's it, it we've always had data you know you could you, you, you could argue or not that it's a little bit hyped up I, I, I we used to call it data now we call it big data it's still data and I don't necessarily uh, there's not more data out there than there ever was it's just much more accessible and it's actually how we store some of that data and make sense of it for all the information that you give um, an OTA when you book a flight for example they still can't work out quite how to use that data sensibly so that when there is a follow-up media from any of the big OTAs it's not necessarily reflective of the information that I as a customer have given them and just because I flew to Barcelona last week does not mean I want to fly to Barcelona next week again so it's kind of looking deeper into the data that 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 you are given by your customers and you know maybe asking the right questions maybe ask to collect the right data to start with so that you can make a lot more sense of it it is about personalization again it is about actually being able to the, the, I have already taken time out to give you a set of data it's your problem if you didn't ask me for the right data so I think that's it's it's the, it's in the detail very much we can definitely filter the data any which way anybody wants us to do it you know technically speaking but if the data that you collected isn't the right data in the first place then it's useless and then you can call it big data or you can call it useless data it doesn't matter it's it's not being used the right way so I have to mention uh, Skyscanner as a, as a as a as a fabulous partner because that's exactly what it is it's a partnership um, Skyscanner has a an, an incredibly uh, skillful in-house technical team um, they develop um, the major the majority of, of everything that's developed is developed in-house but um, they're intelligent uh, enough as an organization to understand that 
finding the right partner that brings additional skill set and additional insight to your own very skillful team. That's absolutely key to any type of success. And what we really like about working with Skyscanner is that they like to be challenged by our developers. We don't just have to say yes, yes, yes and yes. We can sometimes say, mm, we would do it differently. How about we do it this way? What do you think to this? And that's a fabulous partnership. That's a really, that, that, that's, you know, where we feel that we're really bringing some value. And in return, it's, it's turned out to be, um, uh, uh, there's longevity in the relationship. You know, we work across a number of, of, of um, we work for a number of different squads uh, at Skyscanner.